Hey drummers, hope you well. Just a quick talky talky one today. This is about learning songs on the drums. Now, it's a conversation that I have a lot, a lot teaching the sessions that I do, teaching drums as I do with channel members of this channel and uh, drumming students. And I have this conversation so often, I thought it would be cool just to sort of stick it here on the record. Um, this is about learning songs. So in particular, this is about learning songs if you're a beginner, sort of improver drummer, you've been playing, I guess, between a few weeks or a few months and a few years. So you're in the early stages of your drumming and you're learning songs that are somewhat complex and they've got tricky bits here. They're not songs that you can just pick up straight away. Obviously, the simplest way to learn a song is you hear it and you play it back. And if the song is suitably simple that you could do that to your satisfaction or your band's satisfaction and your audience, the audience's satisfaction, great, that's that's done. So there's no need to overcomplicate things. If things are simple, you hear it, you play it, great, lovely. What we're talking about here is when things get a bit more complicated. So oftentimes when people have been playing the drums for, again, relatively short periods of time, they're at the beginning of their drumming journey. Uh, it's Funny enough, it's often the same songs. It's like, can I play Everlong by Foo Fighters? Can I play Learn to Fly by Foo Fighters? Can I play Rope by Foo Fighters? Uh, it's like Little Monster, Royal Blood, um, Figure It Out, Royal Blood, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers songs, Paramore songs, uh, stuff it's stuff like that right it's, it's Nirvana it's like you know Pearl Jam all the classic sort of drum uh, songs very very often the, the same tunes come round and round and what often people do and this is the thing I really want to address in this video is they I don't know if this is often because I I sometimes think this is where I am geographically in the world I, I live and work near Cambridge in the UK and there's a lot of scientists a lot of engineers and they're sort of people who are clearly like intelligent people who are obsessed obsessed with like systems they're excited about systems and, and all that kind of stuff and what they'll often do is rock up with their you know six pages of you know figure it out by royal blood that they've printed out or smells like teen spirit they've printed out the full score and they say can i learn this i know i've not been playing the drums very long but can i learn it I, you know i really want to learn it and they they say lots of lovely laudable things they say i promise i'll go slow and i'll really go one note at a time and i'll i won't go too fast with it i'll go slow and i'll i'll go bit by bit by bit and that all comes from a laudable place but what i really want to put down here is that i think very 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 often for drummers that isn't the most time efficient or enjoyable or good way to go about learning a song that sort of top down way of doing it of like this is the finished product and i'm just trying to learn the finished product i feel is often not a great way to go about it it's often quite disconnected from how musicians in the real world actually learn songs um i think this is at the heart of the issue here is sometimes there's a disconnect between how some drum students go about the process of learning and then how it actually works in the real world of being a musician where like a band for example will send you a set list of songs and you got to go and play it or even if you're at a jam night or you got to play a song quickly or if for whatever reason you've got to learn a song what i an, another alternative and i've talked about this quite a bit in various videos like talk throughs of great songs talk throughs of various pieces but another alternative to just doing that thing of putting the sheet music down and just starting at the beginning a really good alternative is rather than doing that top down is going bottom up and i'm such a huge fan of this i've just seen this over the years work for people again and again and again and again obviously l listening to the song is really important so whatever song you want to learn you got to listen to it and i'm nothing against drum charts i love drum charts you'll often see me using a chart here so i'm not against reading music or anything like that i'm a big i'm a huge fan of that but it's just about the process of learning the song now the bottom up way of doing it would be say that you've got a, a particularly tricky song i was thinking i was talking about this uh, with somebody today actually smooth criminal alien ant farm from grade six and I, I think I say this in the video talk through of that song as well. Uh, what you do is you say, right, in the first case, if, if you've established the fact that you can't currently look at the chart and play it smoothly straight away, uh, which would be true of that one, it's a grade six. So that would, you know, would have thought more often than not, that would be true for a drummer, you know, is in the early stages of their drumming. What you do is you say, right, imagine the gig where you had to play it was tonight. What would you do to get through it? What would you do? Well, like to give yourself the best chance of having success not saying it would be that you would be playing the part in full you definitely wouldn't but how would you get through it what's the thing you would do well you'd play the simplest version of the groove that was something like what's on that track in each section right so what you do is you in other words you'd simplify so start at the beginning and you could have the chart there but you're not going to be following it like certainly not in detail at first forget the details because what happens again and again is people just get lost what's the 
I'm trying to think of the right cliche. They can't see the wood for the trees or whatever. There you go so into the small details on the on these drum charts, beginner again, sort of beginner intermediate drummers. They get so lost in the small details. They they lose the overall flow of the song. You just there's no sort of musical context anymore quite quickly. It just becomes very unenjoyable and they just get a bit lost. So you do the thing that would allow you to get through it that night. So you simplify like crazy if you need to at first. So you just do something to get through each section. For example, at the start of Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm from grade six, Trinity goes like this. One, two, three. And so on. And quite honestly, it's, it's a lot of stuff, you know, for, for someone, again, not playing for very long. It's a lot of stuff. Would have been for me. Still is for me. I haven't played that in a while. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, quite honestly. So what could you do? You could say, yeah, in that intro, okay, what is, the, what is the most core ingredients there? Well, it's a straight eights feel on the hi-hat, isn't it? I'd say that push at the end of every second bar is a really important bit. So even if you were just playing in the intro, one and two and three and four and three and four and one. Is it exactly what the drummer played? Is it a perfect note for note rendition? No. Will it work? Yeah. I mean, it obviously it isn't as good, it isn't as, as exciting to listen to, but it would work and your foot is in the door and you're, you're now in the song. And you go through like that section by section saying, what's the kind of, what's a version of this that I can currently play? So for re another example, later in the song, like the chorus goes... And I've seen it a thousand times. And drummers come in, they're so confused and they're just so stuck. And they say, so it's two ride cymbals and then it's a quiet snare. And it just, the whole thing just breaks down and it just becomes so deathly slow, the learning process that it just, at that point, it isn't, it just isn't reasonable to learn something in that way at that point. So what I say is, right, just what are the, again, what are the core elements? Well, it's a, you could play it as a straight eights feel on the ride. That push on the end of beat four, I reckon, is still really important. So if you could get that in in the first place, in this case, that'd be great. You get the idea. So we're just simplifying it. We're saying what version of this could be currently play. And your, your first aim is to get through the song, to be able to play from the start to the finish, to hit the start, to hit the finish, to change groove from section to section, to play some kind of drum fill where a drum fill happens so it doesn't again doesn't need to be anything uh, close to note for note at this point just play some kind of simple drum fill where a drum fill happens this is where the chart having the chart in front of you can be quite useful even if it's not um, even if you're not well you aren't following it note for note but it just cues you where a drum fill will happen another way to do this by the way is to do a cheat sheet where you just quickly write out on like one side of paper one side of a4 uh, just section by section a very rough guide of what's going to happen in each bit i've got a video about cheat sheets which i use all the time for gigging and for learning songs quickly um below uh you could just remember it as well as of course if, you, if you're playing really simplified versions of stuff uh the problem with remembering it for me is if i've got to learn a lot of songs i it's just too much stuff to even to remember the simplified versions so i i personally really like a cheat sheet you just get that cue of where you're at so that's your first aim once you've hit that point that first base of being able to play from the, the song from the beginning to the end your nice simplified my first version of this song you can then bit by bit uh, start to add in the other details right and what's fun about this is you don't even have to do them in order you don't have to do what you know the, the bit at the start of the song first you could go in and say okay i'll have a little look at that drum fill that's halfway through and i'll spend some time working that up and then bit by bit you can start to build if it is indeed your aim to get to the point of playing it uh, either note for note or somewhat like it was on the original, you can work towards that point bit by bit. But the point is then, crucially, key point of this video, you've got the musical context. You've got the, the flow of the song. You've got some, again, musical flow. You start at the beginning, you're actually getting through the song. You've got a feel for it. And you could go to a band rehearsal, to a gig, and you could actually 
play it, would it be brilliant? Not necessarily, but it would work. Like the rest of the band, this is what it often boils down to. What are the rest of the band looking for from the drums? They're looking for a cue at the start. They're looking for a groove that fits, that flows, that is in time, that feels right, that punctuates the music in the right way, that changes from one section to the next, if that's how the song works, which often it is. Uh, that's what they're looking for, right? So that's a really, really important key point. We're doing that right now and then you can bit by bit as you play it over and over and over and over you can start to add in more and more of the details and i find this method of working on songs especially from like again grade three four level upwards unbelievably useful because you get flowing with it and what you know what what i've seen over the years is people with these trying to learn it directly top down from these charts over and over again and they've they'll be working on the same song for months on end and it's just i gotta say it, it's just boring and it's, it's just slow painful and drummers get stuck it plowing their own little furrow of just trying sort of doing this thing and it, you know it's really s slow and you know they again i can't repeat enough it comes from a really laudable place like they they've got the right some of the right ideas going for me of like okay patience i'll go slow i'll build it but you need some musical context as well. So just play a simplified version first. Remember, your first bass is to get through it, to get to the point where you can start the song at the start, make some kind of noise that makes that punctuates the music in some kind of appropriate way from the, the beginning to the end. And then bit by bit, as you start playing over it, you can add in more and more of the details. Uh, and it, it might well be that you still, even after a few weeks or months of learning a song, you're still simplifying certain bits, and that's completely fine. Um, so be it you know you, you can't produce stuff out of nowhere that isn't at the level that you're currently at but what this does mean is more and more songs are in your reach to play you know and what we're doing here as students who drum students who sort of have lessons or have tuition is we're actually borrowing the best of what drum students who don't have lessons often do which is just sort of put music on they play along but there's a lot of value in that so this is the thing i think it's a, it's a it's having that for me a really effective mindset of yeah sure i'm taking this seriously i'm learning to read i'm learning parts in rich detail and getting all the value that you get from that but i'm also you know doing it in a way that's still developing a bit of a musical ear musical flow that means i can actually go and play music before like you know 10 years of sitting in a room practicing you know and it's fun it's enjoyable that's the whole point it's what we're doing about all this stuff you know ultimately we're not flying a plane here we're not um, saving lives like the point of this is to go out and play and enjoy yourself even if you're playing isn't flawless that's completely fine so i just really wanted to put that on the record because i think it's such an important point and can really transform the learning of songs uh there are some songs where this process really isn't that compatible but i would say for the vast majority of songs that you'll come across and certainly the list of songs i, I spoke about earlier and most songs that people want to play in the first few months years of their drumming um this something like this process will work to repeat start very simply at the beginning just find something that works at each section build it up uh repeat 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 to the point where you can your first base is you can start the song at the beginning play through finish at the end and play something appropriate in each beat and then in each section and then bit by bit by bit you can start to add in the, the finer details it's such a great way to work and it yeah sometimes you've got to swallow a bit of pride i guess in certain sections you might sometimes drummers might say well it doesn't quite feel right at that point and i'll say i'll probably say yeah i i mean i agree but it's something and something's better than nothing and that's a place to start and then you can build it bit by bit by bit from there so like i say really wanted to put that down i hope that makes a bit of sense uh shout out to all the people that I've had that conversation with over the years, which is thousands at this point. And I think it can really transform, again, uh, drum learning and the learning of songs. Please understand I'm not knocking drum charts for one second. You could do this with a drum chart in front of you. I love, love, love the idea of learning drummers' parts, note for note. I've spoken about this a lot on the channel. You get so much value from that. Not only can you then play the song brilliantly but you can also just take in a drummer's vocabulary like be inspired by all the things that they do rework them and use them in your own playing that's an endless source of fun so i'm not knocking reedy music or anything like that far from it but it's just that little bit of just getting started somewhere build build your your songs from the bottom up it's such a fun way to do it rather than that sort of top down start trying to um learn the finished product out of nowhere uh, and then obviously the other side of this is hopefully if you well, shout out to all the channel members you've got a practice plan uh, that they're working on through this channel and this is one part of it. this is part two your song learning part one is where you're doing all your physical skills part two is where you're doing all your sort of groove and feel stuff obviously as you work and, and continue to work and build your skills with part one and part three 
this will only is only going to help your song learning in part two, isn't it? Because you're going to build and build and you know perhaps it'll be that like physical things, like in the case of Little Monster or Figure It Out or Everlong is a great example of this. Your physical skills will come in as as time passes. You keep working on that stuff, and they'll help more and more what's happening in your song learning. So there you go. Just wanted to put it down. I hope it makes a bit of sense. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying that's the only way to learn songs or my way is the only way to do it, but that is a way of thinking about learning songs that I've seen, witnessed over the years, yield incredible amounts of enjoyment, happiness, and success, and uh, faster progress, I think, than would have otherwise happened um, with drum students. All right. Thanks so much. Cheers.